Welcome to the Gas Law Simulation Screencast. This is part of the ChemSims project, which is supported by the National Science Foundation. Today we'll be using a simulation of gas laws that is produced by Pearson Education. It can be found at the website on the screen or in the description below. Let's click on the Run Experiment tab. What we're really interested here is the submicroscopic representation. And here in the simulation, we can now see that we have the individual atoms that are bouncing around within our particular container. In order to be able to follow them a little bit better, we can click on the track button. And that will change the hue of one of those individual particles. So it's now a little bit lighter shade. And then it also leaves a trail behind it so you can see where that individual atom has been and how it's moved. Take a few moments and answer question two on the worksheet. You may find it helpful to pause the video while you do so and or rewatch a small portion of it. Now let's consider the histogram over here on the right. This histogram at the bottom shows the speeds of the individual particles. Each of these have the same height at the moment because each of these represents one particle, or one atom, moving at that particular speed. Occasionally we may see two of them, like this, stack on top of each other, meaning that two of them have the same speed. This tall line here represents the average speed of all the molecules that are present, whereas this one that has that lighter color that matches the tracked atom is showing the speed of that individual tracked atom. Within the system we can actually adjust a number of parameters as well, so we can change the volume, we can decrease the volume, or we can increase the volume, we can decrease the temperature, and or we can increase the temperature. Take a few moments and answer question three on the worksheet. Again, you may find it helpful to pause the video. Please note that in order to answer 3a, you might need to just go back and quickly look at the changes to the different parameters. Now let's examine the relationship between pressure and volume. Right now we have a volume of four. We can decrease that volume down quite a bit. And what we'll see is we'll see that the pressure changes in response. And then when we put that back up, we see that the pressure decreases back down. When we decrease this down, we see that the pressure increases. Take a few moments and answer question four on your worksheet. Again, you may find it helpful to pause the simulation and or rewatch a small portion of this to be able to better answer the questions. Now let's look at how different kinds of particles will impact the pressure. Currently we have 0 0.05 moles of helium present. We can up that to 0.1, and what we see is we currently have a pressure of one atmosphere. If, however, we remove all of those moles of helium and we replace them with the same amount of neon, again, we see a pressure of one atmosphere. If we then remove those and put argon in its place and have 0.1 moles of argon, again, we see that we have one atmosphere of pressure. We can also do a mix of things and have 0 0.05 of each helium and argon and again, check out what the pressure is. At this point, you should be able to answer all of question five on the worksheet. Once you've answered that, you can continue on and answer the rest of the worksheet, but it'll require you to go and actually bring up the simulation in front of you. Good luck and hopefully you understand more about gas laws now.